Hi, I'm Sterling Lynch, and I am directing Educating Rita by Willie Russell for the Ottawa Little Theatre this year, and I'm vlogging the experience. Uh, in this vlog, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about why I wanted to direct Educating Rita. So the reason for that is that um, essentially it's the first question that any director at the Ottawa Little Theatre has to ask him or herself if she, he or she wants to direct a play at the Ottawa Little Theatre. Uh, each year, our, our season planning committee reads just a ton of plays, and they put the season together, and then they invite applications from directors and potential directors, and the application essentially boils down to why do you want uh, to direct this play? And um, for me, there were three reasons why I wanted to direct Educating Rita. The first is, and I mean, I guess this seems obvious, but I really, 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 really liked the play. Uh, I started reading the play. I immediately fell in love with the characters. I really enjoyed the situation. I liked the conversations and the ideas that they had. I was moved. I liked the ending. And then the play ended. I, I read it cover to cover in one sitting without stopping. And it was such a viscerally enjoy, enjoyable experience that I just was excited by the idea of bringing it alive. And just to put it a little bit into context, um, I read a lot of plays and, and I read a lot of plays uh, for this application. And there was only one other play that I read where that I had that same kind of uh, experience of, of needing to read it cover to cover. And that was A Streetcar Named Desire. So I think that's a, you know, a good sign of the kind of caliber of the caliber of the play uh, that uh, that Educating Rita is. Um, and the Streetcar Named Desire is in this this year's season of the OLT, OLT so keep an eye out for it. it is a, it's, a, it's an incredible play. The second reason is that I was really intrigued by the ending. Um, it is not a happy ending in the conventional, um, in conventional sense of a happy ending. Rita is better off, but it's, it's uncertain if she's happier. Um, so in, in a nutshell, Rita wants to es escape uh, the perceived trap of a working class life. She thinks if she lear learns to become more educated and learned and can talk about literature in a sophisticated way, that she'll be happier. But by the end of the play, it is clear that she isn't happier. And, and what she recognizes that the, the malaise that she experienced in working class culture is just as present in this new uh, literary middle class culture. But what is important for her and what is crucial to the play is that thanks to her education, she now feels that she's in the position to choose, be, choose between them. Previously, before education, she, she, this was the only world that she knew. And this is the only world that she could succeed in. Um, she's learned a new world, a new life. She can succeed in it, even if she's not necessarily happier. And what makes her better off is that ability to choose between those two lives. And that's not happy in the strictest sense of the terms. I mean, she's better off, but it's not like she's uh, skipping off into the sunset. The, the, you know, she, she, in fact, we don't even know what she's going to do. She makes it. She's kind of like, well, I have a choice. I could maybe go back to my my working class life and have that baby that I always was supposed to have, or maybe I'll run off to France. It doesn't matter. It's my choice to make. So, Rita is smart. She's smart from beginning to end, and so I think she is making that philosophical point. And I really want to make sure that I work with the actors and make make sure that that is clearly articulated in 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 the performance. But I think there's also there's a visceralness to it and there's a existential that uh, Rita is experiencing that we also have to capture. Uh, and, I, and it's that building the play up to reach that dynamic that we have a resolution that isn't clear. We don't know what she's doing. Isn't strictly speaking happy. Uh, and she isn't happier. She just, she just has the ability to choose. And yet is still going to be satisfying for the audience. They walk away feeling what Rita felt and, un and understands why it is so important for her to have undergone that transformation, even if she can't say, oh, look, I'm happier by, you know, 100 points. And the third reason uh, I wanted to direct this play is that it's a small cast. Um, you know, I have, I have about 20 years of uh, theater experiencing, mostly acting, mostly writing, uh, some directing, but it's pri been primarily in independent and uh, university theater. So it's, you know, really focusing on the characters and bringing the script to life, but things like set and lighting and props were, were never a paramount concern. Um, and of course, uh, OLT has, you know, 
a history and a tradition of producing exquisitely designed uh, sets and productions. And there's a very complex machine that goes into producing the, that technical um, side of the play. And it's going to be uh, new for me. So uh, I have the utmost confidence that if I find two good actors who are willing to put the work in, I can get a good performance out of them. And so by having a smaller cast, I feel it, it'll, I'll be in a position to, um, you know, be more easily learn the OLT system. I, I'm going to have this bit of producing the play under control. So I feel much more comfortable about being in a situation where I got a whole lot of learning to do on this end. But fortunately, uh, OLT is filled with great people, great supportive people. I, you know, and so I'm confident that that's going to work out, but it's certainly going to help that, uh, you know, I'm only going to have two actors to worry about. I mean, not, not to put too fine a point on it, but my production team, I've played to houses smaller than my production team. So it's, it's going to, I think it's going to be a fun, exciting experience. It's going to open my eyes to um, aspects of theater that maybe I've been a little bit shuttered off to simply because I haven't had the opportunity to explore it. And I think that's one of the great things about a community theater like Ottawa Little Theater is that I can take my experience, which I think will be a benefit to the theater, but I'm still going to grow and learn um, at the theater. So uh, on that happy note, I do want to remind you that... Um, Please subscribe, please leave comments, please like. Uh, the more engagement that you have with the video, the more likely that other people will see it. Um, and look at this. I now have the keys to the theater. Like, I have to admit, this is much more exciting than um, getting the first keys to any car I've ever driven. Uh, please remember, um, the auditions still haven't happened, June 10th. Play opens September 20th. I will be continuing to vlog about this um, going forward. So please come back. Talk to you soon.